Hey, Hi, my name is James. I'm 21 and I'm a diploma student currently studying mass communications. So today, I've selected two theories to reflect upon after studying a subject that I'm taking this semester, which is called media criticism. So the first theory would be uh, psychoanalysis theory, which basically means an observation or an exploration towards the thoughts and actions within the unconscious mind, as well as the psychological problems that arise within the mind. And the second theory would be media and violence, which, also, which means uh, an act of aggression or physical force that causes physical harm and mental distress. So, why did I choose both of these theories? Well, they do have some correlation with each other, if you think about it. For psychoanalysis theory, I chose this theory because human psychology just really fascinates me in a way, and I would love to just uh, understand how the depths of the human mind. And for media and violence, honestly, I believe that violence in media such as movies, TV shows, or even video games uh, can act as a form of expression or even a way to find resolve, you know? Like, for example, when a person is angry, you know, they tend to just like lash it out on people. So if a person just decides to, you know, use that anger and do something else, I don't know, like uh, throw some rocks or just work out, you know, it kind of like, makes me calm down and think more. That's what I meant by resolve. Although where it crosses the line for me is when resort to violence is the first course of action when solving an issue or just harming innocent lives. It's just, nah, it's, it ain't for me. Oh, hi there. Uh, you might notice the difference in backdrop because I had an issue and this this was the issue. My cat just barged in the room just a couple minutes ago and she hates being alone so I had to do the vlog here then. So my thoughts before learning this theory in class was that I thought I knew a lot when it comes to the media I consume and to be honest I was just really excited and was anticipating for this class for this theory to be taught because I, I just want want the shift in my reality and you know for my mind to be blown you know but after learning these theories that's where like the way I the, the way I think kind of changed a bit it became more analytical in a sense I analyzed more in media it kind of forced me to not turn a blind eye on the subliminal messages or just the, the hidden messages in the movies the movies and TV shows I watch or even music for example yeah well how does learning these theories affect me as a person in a way it helped me look more into the content that I consume on different media platforms instead of just like scrolling mindlessly through it for example uh, ads on social media it's just uh, they are placed strategically to grab your attention or just are there to create emotion in you and so that you click on them yeah, it's, it's 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 not manipulative, you know. It's 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 not it's not like uh, the media has uh, manipulated us a couple of years back before. It's it's not it, <laughs> but yeah, it just helped me look into more. Lab. And also, when I watch movies now or TV shows, last time I used to watch it as a leisure or like just for fun, like, just for exciting, like. Uh, just to inject myself with the good chemicals that come within the movie, you know. But now, I take my time to really explore the characters and 
see the storyline like I can I can say what's the deeper meaning even though it takes more time like nowadays for me to just like sit down analyze and you know understand but for me it's, it's kind of rewarding in a sense well also uh it has made me wary of human nature in general because like we're just unpredictable beings roaming around this world doing good and bad things alike without even realizing it sometimes you see what i believe is that there are no such thing as good or bad people there's just this people doing good or bad things based on the circumstances that they're given well the most cliche example i can give is when a proclaimed good person uh, loses his or her job let's say or during the pandemic and has no way to find income for his or her family so they have to resort to crime to uh, provide for the family so other than that i can see these theories affect other people is when a majority of people just conform to the way of life right now rather than just you know questioning like, what the content from the media is doing to them you know and just challenging their beliefs that they once hold like we're so overstimulated by the content until we don't think for ourselves we just fill our mind with random content that won't help you in the, like uh, in the future you know that's what and also people nowadays are desensitized you know from the violence that's portrayed in the media and not really thinking how that violence in the media affect the way they think you know so the changes of planning to do after learning this these theories is that i would love to have more self reflecting sessions to myself because i don't know sometimes i can't even trust myself in making decisions you know other than that i'll be honest i would love to immerse myself more with movies with psychological elements in it cuz I, i really like it when a movie make makes me uncomfortable you know it, it 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 makes me think like oh really wow how like oh, i didn't expect that i thought it went that way but at the end of the day i'm really glad that i've learned these theories cuz it made me it opened a whole new world for me personally i'm a thinker i don't use my mouth a lot i i just think about stuff a lot so overall yeah it's fun i guess this is the end and uh thanks for watching i